What's up? It's like King this Dream 301 here. How are we gonna piss the devil off today? I was gonna put the gun of the, 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 the camera. I was like, damn, let me think about it. Hold on. I gotta catch myself. But uh, these are gonna be five ways that you can connect to God. You know what I'm saying? And it's important to connect with God, you know what I'm saying? Because God is, you know what I'm saying? God is all love. God is all prosperous. God is all the universe. He's the Lord of the universe. You already know, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know what I'm saying? These are ways to stay connected to God. You know what I'm saying? Because we can be led astray. You know what I'm saying? No matter like how big we are, how much money we are, how successful we are, we're all still human. We're all still spiritual beings at the end of the day. And this is ways that you can stay connected to God. That you know what I'm saying? That I know work because I do them all the time myself. I love staying connected to God. God is like my right and left hand. You know what I'm saying? But like the thing is like, um, but for real though. Like, it's an amazing feeling. You know what I'm saying? But, like, to really follow God and really follow Christ. You know what I'm saying? You're going to, like, start to see yourself glow. Look at me. I look amazing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, um, number one, to I mean, to stay uh, to stay connected to God is uh, you stay uh, sober-minded. You know what I'm saying? Remember, like, when you when you do things of the, of the flesh, because we have to deny this flesh each and every day, as it says in the Bible, uh, to pick up your cross and deny your flesh daily. And... You know what I'm saying? Uh, we are battling with this flesh because, you know what I'm saying, we like we are spiritual beings. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times when we when we smoke, when we drink, when uh let me say fornication, like fornication also, like watching the websites. Uh, what else would I say? When we're drinking, when we're watching the websites, doing things that are just ungodly. You know what I'm saying? Basically. Drinking, smoking, watching the websites, doing things that are ungodly will, you know what I'm saying, um, will open up portals, like, or, yeah, watching the bad TV shows and, um, and playing with, uh, them Ouija boards or whatever that, like, that have them, like, uh, what is it? Ouija boards, I said, I said Ouija boards, hopefully, I don't sound stupid, but, like, they know what I'm talking about, like, the little ghost boards that we playing with, like, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, they know what I'm talking about. Like, the little boards where you be playing, with, like, if you're trying to, trying to talk to ghosts and shit like that. And those are opening up portals for demonic, strong, uh, demonic demons to be walking into this earth, y'all. And, like, yeah, for real. Like, that's why y'all gotta stay sober-minded. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that we're all going to be perfect. No, we're not all perfect. You know and That's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, God did not come here to judge the world, but to save it. You know what I'm saying? He knows that we're not perfect. He knows that, you know what I'm saying, we're going to sin. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to sin willfully and unwillfully that's why he gives us the choice to repent and constantly repent which is what y'all need to be doing repent you know what i'm saying and uh, you know what i'm saying but when you stay sober minded that's how you can stay protected you know what i'm saying but you keep your full armor of god on and um number two would be uh getting out into nature and connecting to the universe and when you connect to the universe that's when you start seeing everything kind of move for you in the universal way you know what i'm saying it's like everything starts to connect and uh, connect and connect and connect and connect and connect connect because you're finally connecting to the world that is what is really meant to keep you alive you know what I'm saying as it says um in the bible you know what I'm saying the birds the crows like they sow nor reap but you know what I'm saying god still feeds them you know what I'm saying and are we more valued than they we you know what I'm saying and the thing is is that we get so caught up and just you know what I'm saying not in, on our phones on or you know, on or whatever people be doing nowadays, just stay distracted. You know what I'm saying, looking at celebrities, uh, following the crowd. You know what I'm saying, these are so much things that are leading us astray that lead you so far from God. You know what I'm saying, in, in the world, because you wouldn't even know, like you know what I'm saying, how nature works. You know what I'm saying, if you weren't out in nature. You know what I'm saying, you weren't listening to the birds. You know what I'm saying, just singing. You already know. You know what I'm saying, just singing all day, and you know what I'm saying, and you wouldn't notice how, you know what I'm saying, the trees actually talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, the trees actually, like, I be talking to the trees all the time now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was talking to the sky. I was talking to the sun. I talk to nature. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you really, really need to understand because this world, the Lord is, the, you know what I'm saying? God is the Lord of the universe. So we're not connected to the universe when we're not connecting to God the way that he wants us to. You know what I'm saying? And number three, we praying, fasting, and meditating. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? I know I say this a lot, but that like those are the main things that really work. You know what I'm saying? Praying, fasting, and meditating. Those are things that save your life. 
You know what I'm saying? That keep you healthy. That keep you connected to your spiritual self because we are warring with this flesh. You know what I'm saying? That's why I mean to keep the full armor of God on and repent. You already know. I got to keep saying it. But, uh, they're probably getting tired of me saying it, but oh well. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I think it's, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm praying, fasting, and meditating. Those are the quickest ways to connect with God. And that's how you seek God. You know what I'm saying? Those are the strongest ways to seek God. You know what I'm saying? Some of the only ways nowadays. Because a lot of things are being taken away. You know what I'm saying? That how we can uh, see God and talk to God. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, it's just going to be, you know what I'm saying? Us with our uh, ways of, you know, us with our thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Having to pray to God. You know what I'm saying? Which is why we really need to pass all this information out. Get people equipped with the spiritual warfare. That we're going to high places. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? And praying fasting and meditating really helps with that you know I'm, saying? I'm not gonna you know what I'm saying? keep saying that one but number four would be uh constantly trying to live like Christ you know what I'm saying I said this in my last video uh it's in my last video why people stare at you go check that out and uh you know what I'm saying um or I don't know my phone might put this video on first I don't know but either way the thing is um so you're constantly trying to live like Christ you know what I'm saying because that's what Christ wants, is to constantly, constantly try and live like him, you know what I'm saying, to forgive, repent, to try and save as many people as possible, heal as many people as possible, whether that's giving them your your time and attention and giving them, uh, you already know how I do, you know, I can talk through uh, technology, you know what I'm saying, but like, I uh, think it's like a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, you, you really got to learn to live like God, um, you really... You know what I'm saying? Get more connected to Christ. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, like like it says in the Bible, seek the Lord in all his righteousness and all things shall be added. I'm telling you, this like it is real, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Seek the Lord in all his righteousness and all things shall be added into you. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how, what, how much dirt you did. Like God does not care about that. I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't care like how much dirt you've done. All I want to see is like, progress. Like, do you have a love for God? That's all God wants to see. Like, do you have a love for me? You know what I'm saying? Do you, are you strong enough to, you know what I'm saying, walk with me? You know what I'm saying? That's all God wants to see. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? You get, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you, you still got to repent and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're not all perfect. You understand? It don't matter what you've done. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. What you've done in the past, my nigga, if you like if you cool, you cool with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? That's how it is. That's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times we get like not saying that you should look at somebody's past and be like, okay, uh, that's, that's some, okay, you know, watch out for that. You know what I'm saying? But like for real though, you shouldn't be really judging nobody off of their past unless you seeing them cracks when you're with them. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when you really start to okay, maybe I need to cut myself out of their life. But like you should never ever judge nobody. Always forgive, always repent, and always love. You know what I'm saying? Because God, that's how God is, or you know, that's how Jesus was. He he didn't judge nobody. When the woman, when uh, when the men um pulled that woman, and they said like the uh when the, the when them, when the men uh brought that woman to Jesus and they said like we were about to we we're like we just caught this woman about to fornicate, um and they were about to stone her. And Jesus said, you know, what I'm saying to whom has sinned to cast the first stone. And guess what? Nobody, nobody, nobody could cast the first stone. You know why? Because everybody sins. So nobody is perfect. You know what I'm saying? And that's why God, he's so patient. And he's so loving. And he's so kind, bro. Because he's giving y'all the patience to follow him. You know what I'm saying? That's why he gives you, you know what I'm saying, every day, you know what I'm saying, to live, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to keep going so you can follow him. He tries to talk to you each and every day. And we just don't be listening. But hey, that's everybody else. But try and live like him. Love. Forgive. You know what I'm saying? Repent. You know what I'm saying? And like, bro, just put out good energy into the world. Because that feels, like, that shit feels great, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit, it feels great. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, you're going to reap the fruits of your labor. You know what I'm saying? Faith that our works is dead. So I'm telling you, you put love into the world, you're going to get love back. You know what I'm saying? There's no way, there's no, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's not how you do it. You know what I'm saying? You don't put out a whole bunch of bad energy and then you get good energy. You know what I'm saying? No, you put out a whole bunch of good energy. That's what you're going to get back into the world. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't understand that because they've been led astray. And they think that being bad is what gets you gets you somewhere in life. You know what I'm saying? No, it just gets you not fucked with by the devil. And that means that you're on the wrong side. You know, that means that you're you're doing something wrong. You know what I'm saying? And like And that's not 
but we uh, that's not where we want to be at. You know, so we want to be chastised. We want people to be looking at us like, like, or, or you know, what I'm saying, and have haters. You know, what I'm saying, because if you have haters, you ain't doing nothing. You or if you don't have haters, you're not doing nothing. You know, what I'm saying that's that's how it is. That, like, if you're not, you know, what I'm saying, if you're not really, you don't got really people hating on you like that, then you're not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's how he Jesus was. Everybody hated like everybody hated Jesus, but he was healing everybody. You know why? Because they didn't want they didn't want people following him because they were jealous. That's why they killed Jesus off. Not because you know what I'm saying, they didn't believe him. It's because they were filled with so many demons, they were jealous of him because people were following Jesus. And they and the Pharisees, the religious people, they wanted everybody to follow them. Like, wait, we know what we're talking about too. You know, we know what we're talking about. Follow us. We don't want you following him, even though he's healing y'all, even though he's healing the sick, even the poor. Y'all, he's healing y'all with his words. We still don't want y'all following him because we think we know the way. You know what I'm saying? Even though Jesus was healing people in front of their face, he was showing people miracles in front of people's faces, and they still, you know what I'm saying? That's how I am. You know, I've been be showing miracles in front of people's faces all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Through miracles, through my videos, through, uh, through my, uh, all my other videos on uh, Facebook. Like, bruh, well, there's no way you can tell me, like, that God ain't working through my life. You know what I'm saying? I love it. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is, like, we should all be trying to strive to be like Christ. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, first of all, this is, yeah, it's only four. Because number five is basically what I've been saying this entire time. You know what I'm saying? Well, you already know it's about to come. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, the thing is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but number five is forgive, repent, walk on water, no doubt, no fear. That's number five. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, but yeah. That's number five. Forgive, repent, walk on water, no doubt, no fear. I wasn't going to, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't about to say all that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Don't, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Don't add a single moment of stress into your life. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Why? You know what I'm saying? Why would you add a single moment of anxious anxiety or stress into your life? Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't fear nothing. You know what I'm saying? Put all your trust into God. You know what I'm saying? Walk on water. You know what I'm saying? I keep his dream in my mouth. I love y'all.